My name is Russell. I'm a computer technician at Wizards in Mossel Bay. Um, uh, that's, that's just what pays the rent though. I'm really actually a conchologist. I um, study and collect shells uh, from all over the world. Um, I sometimes ship them in from overseas, but what really is special is actually going out with, with my bag and finding a, a gem on the beach. It's, nothing beats that feeling, I can tell you that. Here we have the Batella miniata. So this is the Cypria tigris. Actually, this is a good friend of mine, Arno's. Um, he built the box for me. I gave him the specific measurements. Uh, Arno would work. If ever you want a custom box made, give him a shout. I'm a prominent member of the Oncology Society in South Africa. Steve Buman and I have been at heads for a few months now. He's getting quite a collection, I have to say, but I'm still at the top, I think. What creates the colouring? It's the excrement. It's art. These mollusks are artists. What comes out of them is their expression and that shows in their exoskeleton, which are what shells are. It's the exoskeleton of the mollusks. It's quite it's fascinating. You know, we are essentially seeing their skeletons, their, their bones, as it were. What I do on any free day that I have when I'm not at uh, my day job at Wizards. I hit the streets, and by streets I mean the beach, and by beach I mean the sand full of shells. The trick is to go at low tide, sort of almost in a meditative state, just prowling, hoping to find that that's something that's really going to take your collection to the next level. Are you, are you selling the goldfish, by any chance? It's important to take care of your shells, and I see some people I walk into their homes, uh, and they just have the shells on their windowsill, and it just breaks my heart, to be honest, because not only are you allowing elements to to constantly bombard this beautiful piece of nature's work, but the sun is completely destroying the colouring of the shell. 
give it give it two years, no colour left in the shell, completely ruined, might as well throw it away. Put a candle in it, why don't you? I mean, what is that? Argonaut Argo. Silbentau. Argonaut Argo. Silbentau. Telemeniata.
say that uh, after all my efforts trying to nurse the creature back to health, it uh, sadly passed uh, due to natural causes. So I decided to honor the, the creature by um, preserving it and displaying it for the society to see. And um, I can't wait for them to see it. I can't wait to rub it into Steve's face. Um, he's going to be livid when he catches a glimpse of this one. So. Yeah, what better way to preserve it then than on the wall? My wall, my collection.